Hi, I am Deepak. In this video, I am going to cover how to increase the performance of the query. I am also going to cover the what is a query planner and how to check the execution stats and how to understand it so we can change our query and add the indexes according to it. So, I have already logged into the Mongo shell. I am using the test database and employee collection. Uh, I have added almost uh, 3 million of employee into the employee collection. If you want to know how to add the millions of uh, records into the MongoDB, so please check out my previous video on the same. The link will be in the description. I also have some basic uh, ref query reference on the GIS, so I will add that link to the description for the same. let's uh, check out like how our documents look like so it's uh, i have documents with the just name and department field for sake of simplicity now find will return the uh, result quickly because mongodb internally return only the cursor that is uh, just a st uh, cursor for the stream and we can iterate over it to get the more record at a time it's going to return the 20 records that is the first page if you want to uh, get the more we can use the it and it will give the second page now uh, if we, we are going to filter the record on some name let's say deeper and it will give the record so let's let's clear out the screen let's check out like how uh, exactly this uh, query will perform like in the production environment with the huge data so i can check out the uh, query planner for it now if you check out the query planner we will get the uh, what will be the execution plan so we can have the two different plan one is a winning plan and another one is a rejected plan so winning plan is the like the we can have the multiple plans so only one can be the winning plan that is actually going to execute it while the query execution but we can have the multiple rejected plan on the basis of combination of indexes and all these uh, things that like mongodb configure so in the plan uh, winning plan we can say uh, see it as a stage is a call scan that means it's going to scan the collections to match the result for this query planner and server stat is just like uh, server information but uh, we will not get the actual execution status for from the uh, query planner because if you want to get the execution status that means how much time it's going to take the execute uh, how much time it's going to take for execution as well as how much uh, scan it has to perform to match the records and all these things so we need to provide the execution stats into the explain and it will give us the query planner as well as the execution stats so if you check out the execution stats we can see like uh, uh, is this uh, query execution will be the successful or will it going to the, uh, get the error so it's a true that means it's a successful execution we can see the total number of match and return document from the query so it's almost uh, 500,000 record we going to get from this query uh, execution time in millisecond is like actual execution time required to execute this query uh, for that purpose if you added the any indexes so it, it will check like how much key it has examined to match the record but uh, we don't have any indexes right now so it will be the zero the total DOS examined will be the like um, how many documents it has to scan to uh, match the result and it's uh, almost 3 million so it's almost a, a whole uh, uh, of, uh, it's almost complete document from the collection mongodb can have the multiple stages for to get the result so it's uh, as a parent and child stage as a uh, hierarchical team so we can see uh, we has a stage as call scan so that is a uh, collection scan stage and uh, this is the only one stage we can see because we don't have any uh, complex query as well as no indexes 
so it's also going to have the uh, uh, different stats for the each and every stages so in this stage we can see that the total number of returns record will be the almost same as the total record that we are going to get in the finally the execution time in millisecond for this stage is like 1.2 second and this is a works needed to perform to uh, get the result for the mongodb so it's a work unit that is a mongodb's uh, unit to calculate the works uh, advanced means like the how much six uh, uh, mongodb has to perform uh, save states is like uh, mongodb uh, can save the some result in between the execution of uh, uh, queries and uh, it has to uh, it saves the state as well as restore the states to get the query execution actually mongodb uh, pro provide the uh, streams of data and uh, it's uh, yeah, as i previously explained like if you just execute the fine query so it's a stream of data so for this in this case it's the end of the stream and like the to match the record so how much data uh, how much records it has examined and there's this, this is a three millions record it has to match to get the actual result of the data so this is a really bad query actually and if it's in a production environment with a huge data so we gonna have really huge trouble there so to uh, improve the performance of this query let's try to add the index okay uh, in order to make it simple we will add the really simple index that will uh, just uh, uh, feasible for the uh, uh, on query like filtering on the name so i already uh, have created some basic reference document for the queries so in the previous video i have explained how to manage the indexes so in order to uh, check it out you can find the link in the description now let's uh, say i want to create the index onto the name uh, the main thing is like uh, please keep uh, note of this time it's almost 1.5 second to for the execution now i'm going to create the index on name field will going to uh, take the some time because it uh, has the three millions of record and in that time your database can be inaccessible for the application so in order to uh, keep application running you can specify the background uh, option to create the index into the background so that will be the better way to perform the indexes so let's check out the indexes on the uh, employee so to get the all indexes we can use the get indexes and we have the new name index on employee collection now let's check out the same query execution stats and uh, here we go now in this case if you check out like uh, what's the winning plan is a uh, uh, it's a uh, winning plan is like the page so it's uh, uh, fetching the actual uh, records and input stage for that fetch plan is the index scan so ix scan means the index scan so it also shows the which index going to use for this uh, query we can see the name underscore uh, uh, underscore one is the key, uh, index name and uh, we will get to know like what is a bound uh, index bound for that query so it's like lower bound will be the name deepak and the how have bound will be the same thing but uh, most interesting thing is the execution stat so uh, the return record will be the same as previously so it's almost the fire uh, just a uh, somewhat less than the five hundred thousand but the execution time in millisecond is just like a uh, 502 so it's uh, almost uh, reduced by the one second that is a thousand millisecond so now we can uh, it's uh, 
you can check uh, another thing is like total key examine so it's a um, actual key examine from the uh, indexes and the total docs examines is uh, the actual docs uh, uh, going to examine by the mongodb to get the result and it's almost same so that means um, we are getting the direct data from the indexes but and not from the collect collection scan <coughs> so we can check out the whole different static states as explained to the uh, last uh, things and so uh, this is how we can uh, uh, apply the indexes on to the uh, mongodb and increase our performance of the query also understand the how the execution start for the query in order to create the uh, right indexes for the queries it's we need to understand the different types of indexes and uh, all uh, how these indexes work uh, with the queries so to get the more information please check out the mongodb manual uh, and thank you for watching